oh, I hope this is another Leonard player. Oh, the amount of rage quits you get from them, especially with Hatton when you get some good game going with them. Like, there was this uh, hook spamming Leonard, and I started to lean back in. How about this venue? Like, someone's hook spamming, and you can see Michael you lean McKinsey. back their punches, you're, you're long enough to do it. Lean back on their punches and try and counter punch hook them over and over. Just do it. It's so easy. Oh, it's not a Leonard player, but it might be easier to lean back punch him. going to keep the one side of the body because this is a strategy I've discovered is optimal. You've got to like sort of keep the one side of the body. You, like you can throw some other punches in to like confuse them but generally your big bomb has to be like always the one side of the body. So pick where you're going to really target for most of the fight. And then you got to bomb to it a lot. In this very special environment here. For a fighter walking into a theatre, I think this is the closest thing to fighting in a gym. Because the people are up close. You can hear people talking ringside. You can hear people jeering, saying how good you are, saying how bad you are. You can hear the pressure, the expectation. Yeah, he's trying to keep that range. From both men in this ring. He's trying to keep me out range to get all these tower shots off. I need to be careful. Keep my punches minimal. Oh, he, he, I think he's slowing. Is he slowing? Oh, he's trying to counter punch me a lot. Okay, I'll get some jabs off then. He takes that jab. Carries a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Start getting more jabs off. I, I, I'll admit this guy's definitely smart. He's trying to go for the counter punches. Like, he knows how to play. Like, if you're seeking out counters, then the thing is, I'm incredibly hard to knock down. So he's probably going to go for points when he realizes how decent I am at staying alive. Like, I do try, like, I'm pretty sure most of my knockdowns have come when I was trying to figure out the game and I was being an idiot. And also playing as Eddie Hull. But most of my losses have come from, like, points, I believe. I think, like, 60%. So it's, I'm moderately difficult to knock down, even in, like, and skills from this guy he wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away you find the swarmer you've got to protect everything the body this is not the way there we go that's what we're looking for and there it is the knockdown punch we this is how you play a hat and you gotta be careful you gotta really get in and dig in with that one side like the left side has to be your target for the entire fight generally i'd recommend this with any sort of power puncher like, if you're not playing range, this is how you got to play. If you've got to get right in there, you're not power shot and so you're trying to do soft punches, you got to get right in their face and just keep going the same side. It's why hook spamming on one side is so effective. But you also can't be overly greedy. You can't throw, like, 20 punches in a row, especially with these old timers. They do not have the stamina for it. Missed him with that uppercut. And the higher weights you get, the less spam it's going to be effective unless you're, like, being a cheeser. Who's using that one particular exploit where you can do a trillion hooks in a row? And there we go. Shuffle in with Hatton. It makes no sense. Why is that his horn? I might call that. I actually. One second. Is the round. Oh, the round's over. Oh, it's already over. I did not think it was already over. Well, it, this is a quick video, I guess. But yeah, the point is, you got to really, this is a player match, by the way. I've been really trying to learn how to play the game better. But you got to really focus on one side of the body. Stop trying to get, like, flurries all over them. you got to be sort of going 
body and head the same side, you, like no matter who it is. Maybe mixing it a straight or something from the other side. But if you're going the left side, stick most of your damage to the left side. If you're going the right side, stick most of your damage to the right side. If you've got an ability that particularly says one side is better than the other, go for that side. Like, if you've got a hand power in one side better than the other, go for that side. Especially if you've got good hooks or jabs or straights to go with it. you got to do that. That's how you got to play this game currently. Because then you can get these body rocks. That sort of power is designed, and I don't think it's perfect. I think they can modify damage to the body a little bit. Modify it to the head a little bit. Sort of make it so it's not as crucial. But definitely sort of keep this sort of system. Because I do like the idea of having to really work over one point. It's just in certain cases, it can be quite ridiculous how hard it is. But outside that, yeah, pretty good fight. Money, money.